What up, dudes? It's Gaz, and welcome back to the Warframe video. Today, we're talking about the new Embolist Nightwave mod, Vile Discharge. And basically, I spent like three or four hours last night on stream testing it out, and that was a big waste of time because this mod is either really bugged or intentionally made to be terrible. So we're going to go over how it works today, uh, and we'll, you know, say how I would probably fix it if I was to, like, recommend DE to fix this mod because, honestly, it is it is not worth it's not worth building Embolus for right now. It's not worth leveling up the mod. It's not worth using the mod. It's just bad right now. And, um, yeah, I kind of wish it wasn't like that. So, let's go over the Embolus Vile Discharge mod. But before we get into it, make sure you check the livestream channel. That will be live streaming the new Destiny 2 season tonight. Uh, and I will be also live streaming Warframe uh, probably tomorrow. And I will be live streaming the uh, DE dev stream for the... Veilbreaker information and the AoE nerfs and all that on Friday. So keep an eye on that live stream channel. I'll also upload stuff here too, so don't worry if you don't watch the live stream channel. They'll, you'll also hear about it here too if you are looking to catch up on the news. All right, Vile Discharge. I think it comes from like rank like 25 or something from this current Nightwave season. Let's actually check. Uh, rank 23 actually. And what it's going to do is it's for the Embolus Pistol, which I believe comes from the Clan Dojo. Damage is accumulated up to 30,000 damage. Use the alt fire to launch an explosive vial sack, dealing and resetting the accumulated damage. So, um, I mean, it doesn't lie to you. It does do 30,000 damage if you fully stack it up. But that 30,000 damage is actually not affected by anything. Um, yeah, even even Rhino Roar, for some reason, is not affected by that 30,000. Uh, that that 30,000 is not affected by even Rhino Roar, which I find mind-blowing. Like, that's like, a, that's like honestly, a, a, a marvel in Warframe bugginess or, like, being bad. Um, this is me with a test build. So these guys we were testing on, it was doing, I think, 30,000 damage every single time. We're going to show the test all in this clip right here on screen. Um, oh, by the way, mods don't apply to that 30,000 damage. Multi-shot doesn't apply to that 30,000 damage. Basically nothing. Getting a ribbon for this thing is a huge waste of time. You're trying to mod for the actual Vile Discharge alt fire. Unless they fix it, you're getting a ribbon just for the beam, basically, to build up uh, charge meter faster. So you use the primary shot. As you can see next to my Molt Augmented stacks... That number is going up. That goes up to 30,000 damage. That's the Vile Discharge damage number. Now we're going to fire a body shot once it gets to 30,000 on the Charger. Um, they have no armor, so there shouldn't be any like weird number differences. Body shot with no roar is going to be... I take a real long time to shoot, don't I? I think it's going to be like exactly 30,000. Uh, and then with roar, it will be... not. It will, it will be 30,000 again, showing it does not work. Um, other things we tried out... There's the 30,000. Um, other things that don't work. Uh, smite infusion type buffs like um, you know venom dose and all that. Um, like I said, roar doesn't work. Mirage eclipse, of course, doesn't work. Primary merciless, all that like those merciless arcanes don't work. Um, I even have a clip of banshee weak points not working, but I'm I only tested that one once, so it might have been a fluke. Um, did I did I mention that this thing can't really uh, the thirty thousand damage from the explosion can't crit? Um, you'll see a crit number because there's two instances of damage from it. There's an impact uh, number, an explosion number um, for this embolus thing, uh, the, the alt fire. But it, the crit damage does not apply to it uh, properly. And if even if it does, it's so annoying to test. I wouldn't recommend it anyway. Um, also, the alt fire on this thing cannot status proc. Um, if you're going to try to use this, I'd recommend using a damage over time build for the embolus. So we have a gas build on here right now. So what, the, the reason the gas build's good, like I proc some gas cloud, now I'm not even shooting it, the damage over time from the gas cloud is building up my uh, vile discharge meter. So damage over time build's really good on this thing, uh, well, maybe very good as objective. Um, but yeah, the number, the 30,000 can, can be increased by headshot multipliers. So Ivara's, uh, Ivara's prowl ability gives you increased headshot multiplier, that will technically help you, but yeah, uh, the only thing you'll actually get damage increases from this is like viral procs, of course, and then like uh, Nova's M prime. Which, I mean, these guys are level 190, so I guess it's not really, like, DE levels. Like, these aren't Blast Ignis Wraith levels right here. Um, but, so, like, my main use for this has been just basically, um, if, if you have a Gas Cloud out, you can actually spam the Alt Fire shot. Because the Gas Cloud keeps building up your meter, which is why I said you want damage over time build on this thing. Uh, the, the AoE on the explosion is about 4.7 meters. Pretty much just a copy pasta of the uh, Spore Laser, which I would definitely recommend the Spore Laser over this thing. Um, but, yeah, so... This thing, uh, I'm not going to fully form it out until they bug fix it. I'm really hoping they do bug fix this. Um, but for right now, we've got a, uh, a gas build just because it's nice to have those gas clouds to keep building up the meter. Uh, this weapon has 3% base status chance, so it's really terrible. Um, you can get the status chance a lot higher if you run like more status chance mods. Um, Emblist actually technically does have an augment mod too. 
uh, which gives increased magazine size and plus blight. And the fact that no, no mods really work on the alt fire means like, hey, sure, I'll mod for magazine size, whatever. Um, Prime Fulmination does also work in the explosion of this vile discharge alt fire. Um, it's still like, it, this is a 3% crit chance weapon right here. Um, so just comparing it to the Spore Lacer. Uh, the Spore Lacer, I think, leaves us double the damage and about 11 times the crit chance with this build. So, yeah, if you want to watch the Spore Lacer video, that's still on the channel. Um, I'd highly recommend that over this thing. But just, you know, focusing on what we have right now, um, the Embolist has a 9 meter range on the beam, basically a melee weapon. Um, it's got base toxin, so you can make a gas build pretty easily. The viral heat build was okay, too, for the in, indoor simulacrum mission, but, uh, yeah, really, really nothing too special here. Um, it, basically, it's bugged and has terrible range. That's what my notes say right here. If, if, if something being bugged and having terrible range sounds good to you, then... And have fun. I bet it won't even be able to kill Butchers at level 190. Uh, we'll actually make them level, like, how about 60? This is more like what DE is expecting out of us, you know? They're not expecting you to phase, skip, and profit taker. They're not ex expecting you to knock the island out of the water before he actually wakes up. No, they're expecting you to fight level 60 enemies. And as you can see, that level 60 enemy got completely dumped on. Yep, totally. Man, what a what a powerful weapon. Now, now it looks real good, huh? Pog Champ, 25,000 damage. Because of the armor. And that's pretty much what you get with this thing. Um, now, ways you can... So you can use this on Harrow. It technically will red crit or like orange crit with Harrow if you use Harrow's fourth ability. But I'm seriously like doubting if the crit damage even applies properly with this thing. It is that buggy and bad. The fact that Roar doesn't work is like seriously crazy. So we're going to use Harrow's fourth ability to make it crit here. I mean, I know they're butchers, but like we're not exactly getting big damage numbers with this thing in the first place. I'm over here. What do you mean you want to fight that drone? No, I'm more important than that drone. All right, so you can get some red crits and orange crits. Um, and if you want to, if you really want to use this thing, go for headshots because the headshots. Do you, there's a headshot multiplier that does apply to this thing, but at the same time, why are you using this thing with Harrow? <laughs> like the the biggest, like the most mind blowing thing here is that like this is a single target weapon basically. And the alt fire that you're adding with this mod, which eats, eats up a mod slot, is not in the Exilus slot. It wants you to headshot because it doesn't scale with like anything in the game. <laughs> so the only thing it scales with is headshots and viral procs. Um, so I guess like technically could run deadhead, but yeah, like, I don't think I'm gonna be using this thing much more anyway. Um, it, it's competing with the actual good. Like this is the pistol slot right here. There are not that many good pistols in this game. One of them being the Kufa Nucor. Um, this thing is a, it's a beam weapon that also chains. So it's basically an AOE beam weapon. Uh, even also the, 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 uh, Vermis Blazer secondary. That's kind of a tentacle AOE gun as well. I would definitely recommend that over this thing as well. Um, it's really, really bad. Thankfully the, um, the Embolus Augment at least goes through walls like a proper AOE weapon. But yeah, I mean, 4.7, uh, radius without, if, if you're not running uh, prime fulmination, that's what you're going to be getting. So I definitely recommend... Uh, running prime fulmination. If you are going to like be a crazy person and run the um, run the embolist, which I uh, hopefully said enough, I would not recommend it. Um, so here's what I would do if I was de to bug fix this and make this augment not complete garbage. Um, so make it actually scale. <laughs> make it actually scale off of all the buffs I've been trying to make it work with. Make it work with multi shot. Multi shot does not work on this projectile. We, uh, we slow down the uh, projectile in Captura. When you slow everything down and like pause the game, there was only one projectile. I have like about 400% multi-shot on this build, and it still only shoots one projectile out. So getting a ribbon is just a waste of time on an embolist. Unless you're getting like a minus projectile ribbon for funsies, because the projectile speed on this thing is really, really slow. So that could be kind of funny. Um, but yeah, it, it's, it's terrible. I th it, it's bad, and it should feel bad. Um... The only saving grace is that it seems so bugged that I have a feeling they might bug fix it. And if they do bug fix it, they'll start working with multi-shot, start working with elemental mods, start working with like Rhino Roar and, and things of that nature. It might be a fun little uh, gimmicky pistol where it's like, okay, I can kill enemies with a single target shot. And then like, if I see a group of enemies, I'll blow them up with a vile discharge shot. Um, it can technically do that right now. But this thing has so many problems that it's like, I don't even want to use this thing. Nine meter range without ruinous extension. 3% crit chance, like, that's not getting changed. Like, we are we are keeping that 3% crit chance. Um, thankfully, I could run, like, you know, Avenger and stuff to get it a little bit higher up. Um, but, yeah, really not too hot. Um, like I said, the viral heat build is pretty good. You are going to want to run some type of damage over time to get that easy uh, easy stacks, I'd say. Um, and if you want to go for, like, full damage, definitely throw in a Bane mod. 
fulmination just for fun. I was messing with some different forma on here. Um, Eroding Blight definitely wouldn't be on the final build, but I, until they fix it, I don't know if there will be a final build because I am done wasting my time on this thing. Um, either way, guys, I'll see you next time. Uh, hope this is a warning to you that this thing is not good. Does not work. It, there is no reason it shouldn't work with Roar, but they found a way to make it not work with Roar, so I'm honestly just kind of impressed. All right, see you guys uh, later on Twitch. Take it easy. Peace.